to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be making fried rice, but not just any fried rice. Today, we're making smoked herring fried rice. Yeah, you heard me, smoked herring fried rice. You never had it before? I'm telling you, you need to try it. Come with me, let's get to the ingredients. This is the smoked herring I'll be using today. I washed them prior to cooking. I threw out the water a couple times already. This is the final boil, not that salty at all compared to the whole ones. They don't need any skinning, they have already been skinned. So all I have to do is cut them up and do what I need to do with them. I am using the last water that I boiled the smoke herring in to cook the rice. I strained it. I'm not going to use any additional salt or oil. It has a little oil in it already and very little salt. And I'm cooking that's um, two and a half cups of rice. So that's like a pound and a quarter of rice. I'm gonna let it boil. And then I'll turn it down and let it cook on low fire. And I'm not going to cook it all the way. That way it's not gonna be too soft when I'm ready to make my fried rice because it still has to cook a little bit more. I'm going to cover it now and let it continue cooking on low fire until it's like halfway cooked. It is cooked to the tenderness that I want it, not too hard, not too soft. If you like your rice, your fried rice soft, then you can cook it softer, but I don't like it soft. So I'm going, just going to let it cool down until I'm ready to use it. I have a zucchini, green and and yellow zucchini, I have um, red onions, white onions, scallions, celery stick, mushrooms, and um, broccoli and mushrooms, <laughs> broccoli and mushrooms, and I have here a medley of corn, carrots, and peas, green peas. There's also some onions and, and bell peppers in there that I like using and the kikuman soy sauce. I picked this up at the supermarket. I have not used it before. Cantonese fried rice. I would like to try it but I'll taste it first to see if I like the flavor or not. If I don't, I'll continue using my all purpose seasoning. This is the smoke herring that I will cut up to use in the fried rice. Now my oil is hot, my wok is ready, and I'm going to pre-cook the vegetables a little bit, just a little bit, and I'll pour it over my colander so I can drain out any liquid that's in it before I add it to my rice because I don't want it to be soggy. Now I'm not saying this is the way to make it, but this is the way that I make it. That Cantonese seasoning actually tastes really good, so I'm going to use a little bit of my vegetables. So this is probably the one I will cook the longest because it's cold. I'm gonna check it off now. 
oil is ready again and now I'm gonna do the vegetables. The other vegetables. The other vegetables of onions and sweet peppers, zucchini. Just a little bit. You want to retain some crunch in there. Sprinkle some of that seasoning on there. So that's good right here. Now for the mushroom and the broccoli. Smells good in here. So that's good right here. Now for the smoke herring, I'm gonna just stew it a little bit. Stew it with onion. I'm not adding anything else to it to change the color or anything because we want that's what we want it to. I mean, I mean, you can if you want to. I'm adding some black pepper. It will get color from the other vegetables and stuff, but for now this is just, just fine. Now to fry the eggs. want it brown you can if you just want it scrambled either way whatever your choice is that's what you do and now for the rice I changed my pot because um my wok is kind of small, so I'm using this pot here. We call them back home, we call them a maca cut. Don't ask me why, I don't know why they call it that. Now 
now I'm going to sprinkle the rest of this seasoning in the rice. properly drained out. Everything is in here, vegetables, smoke herring. We'll give it a good mix up together. And I have scallions that I will cut and use that after I take everything off the stove. I'm gonna mix the eggs into it. Kind of forgot it there for a little minute. Mix the egg in. Eggs are optional. If you have an allergy or you just don't like eggs, don't. For a taste test, gotta have some mushroom on them, my favorite thing. A little mushroom, a little broccoli, some rice. This is so good, really. This is so good, it smells so good. And that smoke hearing is not overpowering, it is just right. You all should try this sometime. Thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and turn on the notification bell for more videos. Leave your comments and your suggestions below. And I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Rosie, where the secret ingredient is always love.